Hello, Filipinas. This is The Bench, and welcome to our huddle, where we offer a layman's view on anything and everything basketball from a bunch of regular dudes who eat, sleep, and breathe hoops. To my left is, well, I'm Julio, and to my left is Jay. What's up, homies? And What's up? Uh, and above me is Mike. <laughs> Who the heck and is Joshua Primo? <laughs> 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 you jumped it. Wait, hold on, hold on, again, again. <laughs> you jumped it. Who the, who today, the, who? Who the wait, heck is wait, Joshua wait, wait. Primo? <laughs> today, today is NBA draft day. So the NBA had their selection of the finest rookies in a very, very deep draft. And most, this was most a, teams chose from the finest rookies. Yeah. <laughs> Way to rub it so, in, man. Way to rub it <laughs> in, Jay. So we're, so we're going to start. I mean, all I'll say first is the number one pick went to Detroit. We all know. And we'll talk about that later. The, the, we'll talk about the picks later. And Kate Cunningham is this year's number one pick. But for, overall, for the draft, really we'll, so. start, we'll start everything off with Mike. How do you feel, Mike? Who the heck is Joshua Primo? <laughs> <laughs> Can somebody tell me, please, in the comments, if anybody knows this guy, please send me links so I can look him up. I don't know who he is. That's all I have to say. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you came out wearing a Spurs shirt anyway, man. Hey, Viva yeah, yeah. Hey. I, I'm still on the fence if we're, whether I'm going to rip this off later or not. So let's see. <laughs> I'm... Okay, so <laughs> maybe I'll I'll, I'll 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 go on that first. Is that you know um, it was the white it, it was a wild because there who is Joshua Primo? Um, it was a wild and wacky draft from the start. I mean, super. the first the super the yeah. first three picks went mm. exactly as planned. You had Kate uh-huh. Cunningham, your six eight LeBron esque Luca type point guard forward um, facilitator. Who came from You're Oklahoma? Proud State, to be I like that. I, know, I like I like the the nickname also motorcade. Motorcade. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that, oh yeah. yeah that's that's cool. he's, he's, he's going to Detroit. The that's a nice city. Yeah. So, so Galeng. 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 They kind of coined it that kanina. Galeng motorcade. I like that. Number second pick went to the Rockets. Who picked? Pinoy man, Jalen Green. Jalen Green. Jalen Green. Hopefully Jaylen a Green. prospective Gilas player. Yep. Oh, yeah. But he but, but he, lo- he looks very. In touch with his Pinoy side, even though actually yeah, I, 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 I read that I'm not sure if it's his grandfather or his great grandfather Panga who's a pure blooded Pinoy because parang yeah, I heard it was pretty it was far. Parang, <laughs> it's pretty, yeah, the mom's <laughs> grandfather Yata is pure blood, so I think I, I could be wrong. So it's either his grandfather or his great grandfather is pure Pinoy on the mom's side. But he's been here, no? He's been yes, here. No, yeah, he yeah, played, he did. He, he did the exhibition game. games. Yeah, he did. Yep. And he nice. and he says he represents Pinoy in the NBA. So we're glad the man is open to that side of his bloodline. Right, right. Um, right, right. I've seen the highlights, man. The, the, the guy can really play. <laughs> he's a silky solid scorer, yeah. like anything, man. Um, now number three, we'll go to number three. Uh, Cleveland picks Evan Mobley. No surprise there. Also, right. very very mobile big in the right. in, in the likes of know, like Chris no? Bush. Yeah. So just to point out, how many bigs does the Cavs have? <laughs> they find they got rid yeah. of Drummond, drop, dump Drummond onto the Lakers. Uh, yeah. I think, I think this is a sign. Know, I think this, about, but I think this is a sign. How though, many that, bigs know, do they need? This is a sign that uh, they might finally buy out na Kevin Love. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, uh, for sure, for sure, mm. for sure. If so, they're going yeah. young, the I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's the only hold out there. Eh. So, bakas si Jarrett Allen na lang yan matera jan with with this new rookie. Who knows? Let's see. Why are they? Allen played really well. The snans, right. Alan, though. Allen's really they're good. They're really deep with bigs, eh? <laughs> yep. yep. So, Balik na lang nila si Nance sa Lakers. Punyemas. <laughs> Baka gusto nila si ano. I don't know. Huh? Maybe they, they, they want Joshua Primo. They need to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get it. I'll take Allen, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna run. You just tell me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. We're gonna quickly go through at least maybe maybe 15 to 20. So yeah. we'll see if it. We'll see if the names get a little bit too unnoticeable anymore. But, yeah. <laughs> but uh, so of course number number four is where the whole yeah, this thing is where just gets, gets all messed uh... up. Yeah, because <laughs> right. it's supposed to be no supposed to be the Toronto Raptors. The free agent is Kyle Lowry. Yeah. Then you have Fred Van. Uh-huh. I mean, you have Fred Fred Van Fleet. 
and that they're thinking they're all, they're all thinking that perfect you they're going to be a rebuilding squad Kyle Lowry right. goes away and right. um they will they will get the uh, the, the top prospect point guard yeah. na natural point guard in the draft right which is which, which was which was okay sana kasi di ba si Van Vliet was was already used to playing beside Kyle Kyle uh, Kay, Kay Kyle Lowry as yeah. as the two yeah. diba so medyo he has that thing yeah. Yep. yeah um so this is where the whole Actually, I actually didn't ask Jay. Actually, my my, my apologies about the draft. So I'll I'll, I'll bounce you off, Jay. No, no, it's, Let, good. it's all good, man. Go go. Yeah, you're good. Okay, we'll okay. Talk about yeah, yeah, we'll talk was... about the LA Swamp Clubs later. Ah, okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> so there. So the, so, so the first big surprise was they got Scotty Barnes at number four, right. which so he was supposed to be comped at six seven, and he he jumps up to number four, which drops Jalen Suggs to number five to the Orlando Magic. Which kind of screws not his? I mean, the they got a nice talent. I mean, if you check Bleacher Report, winners and losers, it says that Orlando Magic winners because they got Suggs and Franz Wagner, but then losers Jalen Suggs because now <laughs> Jalen Suggs he ends up playing for the Magic. Yeah, he yeah, ends and up the, on, and with the with the loaded uh, backcourt also. He has to yeah. share time now with Ooh, another former mm-hmm. former number one pick in Markel Fultz, Cole right. Anthony. Cole Anthony, and, yep. And him. Right. <laughs> so and that's good. That's Cole, a, was, Cole was showing a lot of promise already last year. Huh? So, yeah. you know, in, yeah. the end, in the end, bench player, rotation player. Yep. Again, so and yeah. we, all know how it's also, hard. we all know how it's also hard when you're dealing with... Well, that's this is off the off the record, but Cole Anthony is a very very beloved second generation athlete right, who, right. Who, who who grew up in the NBA. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, right, grabbing, right, right, grabbing right. charisma, yeah, the his yeah, connection yeah. with the media. He was he yep. was he was really. I mean, he had a lot of hilarious interviews last year. Jokes <laughs> turned in. Uh, yeah. Yep. Although I heard, I, I know it's a nice limelight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he grew up with his dad. He grew his dad. Yeah, yeah. Greg Anthony was player announcer. See si Jalen right. Suggs, pala, I heard. I heard lang. I think in a podcast. This guy, pala, comes from a very, very acclaimed athlete family. Not big time, but from from he's from Minnesota, the Twin Cities, yata. And he has like cousins and all that who are all in professional sports. There's a Suggs, pala, in the Baltimore. Uh, who won the Super Bowl? The Buccaneers. There's a Suggs in the Buccaneers. There's a Suggs in Major League Baseball. So they're like a family of athletes. I think the, the dad also right. played basketball. So. In that aspect, also they they kind of also have a little bit of PR going around in different right. leagues. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So I found that out lang kanina. Um, so the next we'll, we'll run through this fast again. The next shocker, na naman, was number six OKC who picks up Josh Giddy. Yep. Giddy was not uh-huh. supposed to go this high. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, in fact, right. Memphis tried to move up at ten to get Giddy. Mm-hmm. So so they get Josh Giddy. That was what we that was what you mentioned at the chat group uh, in the, the last day. episode yeah that was that was the rumor but also so, yeah yeah so for me this is the draft that teams just screwed up other teams plans mm-hmm. because when once Toronto picked Scotty Barnes the, the chain reaction again so Oklahoma picks Giddy which means former top 5 prospect Jonathan Kuminga falls to <laughs> <laughs> Although they say he's a project, they say talaga he's a project because he's so raw. Um, his athletic ability and his frame is just too good to let. I mean, to to let pass. He's a six eight, two twenty athletic monster. Not so. Right. His field, his field though is still not so great, and you can see it though in the G League as compared to Jalen Green. That's why they separate the stock nila. Mm-hmm. It's a G League, but they just couldn't. I mean, six eight. That's that's a potential defensive nightmare. Later on, if he's a lot of a lot of a lot of good words said or mentioned about him and his family, you know. Yeah, yeah. He strived hard, has not seen his family in six years. Went here, he was only what thirteen, I think. Yeah. And he's separated from the so he worked hard for what he what he got and what he deserved. Now he's gonna be playing for the dubs, man. So he's eighteen years old. I just (laughs) eighteen. 18 pa lang. Right. I, I just because diba, he, he missed college diba, he's one of the G leaguers right right I just heard the pod I just heard the podcast of the dubs a while ago and <laughs> the joke now in the dubs is that 
Because Bob Meyer said, now we got to get some old people. We got we to get some vets into the team. And the joke is like, oh, you think? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Who's going to want to join the dubs now with, <laughs> with the OG3 and a bunch of kids? <laughs> that's, that's, that's the yeah. joke now. So yeah. there's pressure now on Bob Meyer. So me, uh, even we got too good. I, I don't know if we're going to keep Kuminga. I have no idea how I feel because I don't want to get too invested in these players who I think would have been nice to watch grow. Because they might not end up here anytime soon. If they find a good deal for Beal or whatever, I don't know what's going to happen. Turner, Siakam, I don't know where it's going to go. So, oh, if, gonna, if you're oh, looking to, if the Dubs are looking to move Kaminga, Moody, in search for vets, you can always have Dudley, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, but you were going to offer us again. What's that? You were going to offer us Westbrook after taking. Ooh. Oh, oh! Later, Ooh. later. Uh. We'll get to that later. So, of course, number eight is Franz Wagner, who's the brother of Mo Wagner, who's in the NBA, goes to Orlando. Number Younger, nine, shorter brother, no? Yeah, pero uh, shooting guard now at six nine. Is that what I heard correctly? Yeah, that's solid. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's solid. Yeah. That's not that's not short for his position. Yeah. <laughs> the the Dubs were supposed to be getting him though at seven, but then I really didn't like the Dubs to get him at seven. I didn't want. I don't know. I just didn't feel him. Nine is Davion Mitchell from the world champ, um, from the collegiate champion Butler. He's supposedly like your Pat Beverly type of dog defender. Mm, right. You know what his nickname is? <laughs> yeah, but you know what his nickname is? <laughs> <laughs> he has the coolest nickname, though, yeah. aside, aside from. Off some, night. What, what, what is it? Off the, night. Off night. Off night. Because who everyone, guards anyone he guides, yeah. off night will have an off night. Galeg, it's, it's, it's cool. So, wag lang siyang manakit. Number ten, number ten. This guy was big time high school recruit. Was was going to be projected into the top ten of this draft, and then played so bad in his first year in college that he was being mocked in the late teens or twenties. But you've heard of this name, remember, Jay? Zaire Williams. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Memphis couldn't get giddy and they ended up with this with huge Zaire. prospect. Yeah, he's like six, that's eight, not, six, yeah, nine. That's not a bad pick for him, actually. Not a bad pick. It's they, like uh, who, whoever would have gotten Zaire Williams at 18 to 20, that would have been too much of a steal. But that, that's that's like oh, the Spurs could have gotten him, yeah. Hey. <laughs> They could have gotten get, a bunch of players, dude. That's gonna that, that's gonna be our first stop, guys. So Memphis, even though they wanted Giddy, this was a good pick for them because if right. the, if you look, I mean, uh, I think Zaire Williams is gonna be good. He's supposed to be really fast. Picture a six eight six nine guy who can do it all, long, fast. That's the way the NBA is now. Um, LBJ ish player. Um, LBJ-ish. May, may, may LBJ-ish, but not so much in the facilitator way. More like a scoring type. Na, yeah, and it, yeah. He'll, he'll fit perfectly well in that, in that, that offense of Memphis. That, oh, yeah. Memphis, that the whole, no, the whole, right, exactly. the whole yung parang ano nila, diba? their blitz, yeah. the yeah. blitz offense of theirs. He is actually yeah. one type of player that Memphis doesn't have. If he develops right, that, exactly. that that forward, you would fill yeah. out that bucket uh, getter, uh, 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 yeah. You know what I mean, diba? Parang wala, diba? He doesn't yeah. have. Let's put it this way: Zaire Williams is kind of like a Michael Porter or probably a Kevin Durant type. Well, there you go. So he, parang, he can yeah. score outside, yeah. inside. That's that's where he's go- very, That's what his potential can be. Very complimentary, kay ja, ja Morant. Ja Morant. Ja, who likes to dish out, you know, passes. Naman, it's yeah. not all yeah. about scoring. Naman. And, uh, Charlotte, Charlotte's had a great draft, pala. Yep, I mean, we, yep. we've been talking about I, Charlotte. Yeah, probably man. the winner of you know. I mean, I put the Dubs also up there because those two picks are pretty good. But Charlotte could have yeah. you know, won the draft tonight. I think. Aside from this, is like a small, not even small, but they did get their center finally in Mason Plumley by trading picks. But so they ended up with Mason Plumley for practically nothing. Oh. Um, oh. And then they draft this Money guy jump. James. Yeah, salary dump. They draft James Booknight, who drops because of Solid. his rawness and all of But if anyone goes to YouTube and types James Booknight, yep. you can... Oh, yeah, I've seen his highlights. Look, yeah. this guy. <laughs> they're this comping him to like the... What's exact Zach Levine 2.0? Parang ganyan, the, what yeah, they're calling diba? him. 
Yeah, right, right. He can shoot too, ah. Huh? It's not just oh, all yeah. about dunks. Actually, para yeah. ano nga eh? Well, para a bigger, a bigger jump more than nga. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were saying that also, yeah. Because he plays, he he doesn't well, play yeah. a lot of of yeah. above the rim, ano eh? Not unless he's open. He can't really, you know, fly jump over everyone. But he's very crafty yeah, yeah. and he, he knows how to finish with with contact. Yeah. Right, he, looked, right, he, looked, right. he looked good. And so now we're going to stop. This is where we're going <laughs> to stop for a while. And 12th pick, the first Woo. pick. At number 12, Lottery pa, ha? He The first, the first get Joshua Primo. Now before, I'm going to get to Mike. I'll put the primer that Joshua Primo was not mocked into the lottery. And I don't... Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong. Not in Bleacher Report. Not in nothing. Not He's, yeah. He was projected. Mike, he was continue. Pro, he was projected 29:30. Okay, so ako, before I start my rant, let me just say na I cannot completely question this pick. Okay, just because just just because of the track record of the Spurs and their scouting team and how you know they their exceptional player development program, all of these things that, that go into the Spurs organization. They've been the gold standard in finding these gems in the draft and developing them. Manu being Siguro, you can argue that Manu can be one of the best second round gems in draft history. Yeah. Yep. Tony Parker, a 28 pick. They traded, this was an unpopular move at the time, but they traded away George Hill for a sleeper yeah. pick named Kawhi Leonard <laughs> that upset the fan base at the time. Yes. <laughs> but then they Probably, saw... They, kind of like upsetting you now. They saw something. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. Even, the, even the players, eh, even the players were yeah. upset because they liked George Hill. Eh. Yeah. Right. So so it, it may just rock the boat a bit, but then they saw the potential before everyone did. So, and then, of course, you have guys like Patty Mills, the mga Bertans, the Kyle Andersons, who have done well enough in their careers to become solid rotation players for, for their respective teams, yeah. right? Then, yeah. let's go back to last five years na lang on how great the Spurs did in the last five years. The John T. Murray, 29th pick in 2016. You have uh, yep. Derek White, 29th pick in 2017. Lonnie Walker, 18th pick in 2018. Keldon Johnson, 29th pick again, 2019. And then Devin Bassell last year with, with their first lottery in a while at 11th. No? All excellent picks. Very, you, nobody can question any of those picks. And those picks, I believe, is they got more value from the from what they were draft from the 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 time they were drafted from the pick they were yeah. drafted from. So so kumbaga they got added value now on on three of the twenty nine three of the best players here that I mentioned are all twenty nine picks. Yeah. Right. Okay. So that's it's it's really very hard for me to one hundred percent question this pick. But that being said, though, I'm ninety nine percent fucking question <laughs> and I'm just giving them 1% benefit of the doubt who the heck is Joshua Primo I didn't, he wasn't even in my day. I had to google him after they drafted him you know I was all, all the players all the players you mentioned galing I mean no one exactly, no will question, exactly nga, yeah. will question yeah. the way the Spurs choose these players especially at those you know 18 below players yeah on, on ha, Hanep, but you, why would you still pick someone who should have gone 29th on yeah. the 12th pick? That's yeah. so, so that's still the <laughs> and, and, and that's the only reason why I'm giving them the one, one percent benefit of the doubt is because of their exemplary track record in scouting and right. drafting. Yeah, but I have to say, they could have done this a million different ways yeah. if they really wanted Joshua Primo. Okay, palagay na natin. They could have still gotten him. Palagay na natin. They could okay, have still fine. Gotten him. Let's say na lang na, you know, maybe Joshua Primo, re, it, the, the, there really is something in him that, that they yeah. see, not that they think would be, be superstar yeah. level later on. Fine. Because okay. we're not. We're not saying it's gonna be bad. Yeah, I mean, we're not. Yeah, we're, yeah. I'm, I'm not saying that. We were just saying. You just have no clue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we were just saying that. I think they they left value on the table by drafting him at twelve. Yes. Just because yes. they can get so a many lot. other assets or even a, a dish, an additional pick 
if they traded down and would have gotten Joshua Prebo anyway. Yes. Because yep. for me, what 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 this is telling me that they just got him anyway is that if if logic logic kind of dictates na parang they were afraid siguro na if they traded down that somebody might you know one of the other teams yeah. was able to sniff this guy out and maybe steal him so siguro they decided you know what let's just get him and just get on with it yeah but but then he was he was projected i mean he was projected 29th 30th 30th pick you were saying kanina that the trade with uh the trade with uh, the Knicks? The Dubs and, yeah, yeah. Well, th- th- that's what I was going to say is that I was wondering about that because there could have been a style. That it, it got reported before that the Knicks were trying to aggressively get Chris Duarte. Right. Well, Chris Duarte eventually went 13th to the Pacers, right? So yeah. the Knicks were offering 19 and 21 to the Dubs for their, num- for their 14th pick to try and get Chris Duarte. And I was, and I was asking you, Mike, like, why didn't the Spurs then Draft Chris, Chris Duarte and then approach the Knicks and say, you draft Primo at 19 and give us your 21. Exactly. So once you draft Primo, yeah. yeah. the deal yeah. is consummated once you draft Primo, who we want, and then come in at 21, who, will, right. who we will pick. Or even just, get, even just get the two picks because they could have gotten Primo at 22. And get someone else. At yeah. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. there was, there's, there's, like I said, there's a bunch of yeah. ways they could have played this, but they didn't. I yeah. don't know. I don't know what their plan is. I was pretty sure going into this, I had some players in mind. After after the tenth pick, I was looking at the board and Moody and Book Knight were still available, yeah. and I was thinking, regardless regardless of who Charlotte picks. We would ha- we can have either Book Knight or Moody. Yeah, that's that's the. I, but I got shocked. I I was with my dad. Wait, can I ask how was the reaction of the of word in in NBA? Because I, I was with my dad getting getting no, no. vaccinated, right? How was Everyone, the reaction all, when every, Adam Silver <laughs> goes shot <Joshua> <laughs> Every single analyst, dude, from from Jalen Rose. Uh, Jill, yeah, Jill, Jill Rose. Jill Rose. Were, Rose. Yeah. Uh, I was looking at uh, the the podcast of of where I know Avery Johnson was yes. in. I think that was ESPN or ABC. I forgot. Anyway, I was looking at different. <laughs> I, I I had I had them on my screen and they were all blown away, dude. As in they. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I I was pretty sure. Ako, looking into it, I I had yeah. like I said, I, I had players that I wanted. We needed bigs, so I had a I had a strong feeling based on the track record also of the Spurs of drafting international players. I had a really strong feeling they were gonna get the Turkish, the Turkish bigs. He's saying good, yeah. Diba? yeah. And and I would have been totally fine with that. Even Kai yeah. Jones, even if they reach for yeah. Kai Jones, na lang, who was what drafted 18th? Yeah. 19th. 19th. Even New if, York. <laughs> dude, if they traded with New York, they could have gotten yeah. both Kai Jones and, yeah. and Primo. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what they needed. Now, okay. Again. Or even J- sabi natin Jalen Johnson, pero uh, attitude problem. Uh, sabi natin Jalen Johnson from Duke. But then again, yeah. okay, I don't know how pop being in Tokyo factors into all this. And again, I don't. it's hard for me to totally question it just because, you know, I know the Spurs. I've been a fan for more than two decades already and I know I know how they operate I know how these weird moves even Manu that Manu yeah. pick wasn't I mean a lot of people didn't really pay attention to that Manu pick until Manu yeah. showed up on the court and and, and showed showed everyone his chops diba? pero again it's, it's hard to question I, I what bothers me lang is this really I have all these theories on what the Spurs Short, mid, and long-term plans are, and this totally messes up the theories. Because now <laughs> I don't know what their plans are. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. I know, I know they don't want to tank. I know they want to go into this, you know, good, uh, smooth transition into this ne- next era by developing players, just being in the, you know, enough to to be in the fight. But yeah. then this screws it up because this is at best a three-year project. So I mean, well, okay. At best, a three-year project. By the time this this guy shows up and you know comes up and, and is able to to contribute, how old will Dejounte Murray be? Yeah, 
Buljajante may even still be in the with the Spurs by the time. You know, all, thing, all of these things. So my thing lang kasi like I'll add to lang to you. My thing is that a steal is not a steal when you get him for a high price yeah. anyway. Yep. You know exactly. what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. Diba? Kasi even yeah, yung mga, you were, yung mga, the ones that were picked at 22, 28, yeah. 29 that you mentioned earlier, those were all steals. Yeah. If you pick at 12, you're already expected to be a yeah. uh, lottery type player. So the, player. the expectation, the expectation is, yeah, it's different na rin, eh? yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. And then, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? If you look at the reaction of Joshua Primo when he was drafted and then the subsequent interview, because he wasn't even in the stadium because yeah. he didn't expect to be a lottery oh, pick. He, he wasn't even in the green room. He wasn't even in the... In the no, the he room. wasn't. Dude, I, 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 I was, dude, I, was I, I, I saw everything debunked through my phone long because that's, that's how off the radar you I'm not even gonna say below the radar. He was so off the radar, dude. He wasn't even in the building. Hindi pa na dude, radar. even the Mossad could not have traced him. Yeah, he was the only lottery pick who did not go up on stage because he was not in the building. <laughs> That's that there there that's that's that, that's that I didn't see that and that's what I wanted to factor in. So that's that's you, you know what's funny when he was interviewed. Dubai, I show Dubai posted the the the, yeah. the, the that short clip on our chat room. Parang pati siya na parang oh. my God, when, when, like, all of a sudden I'm a la- the, the expectation of, of a lottery what? pick is on him now. Na parang he's not even sure na I don't know if it's I was the right pick. At, Wait, at he wasn't he, he wasn't even on the floor. No. So he wasn't even. I don't know if it, the, he was on the same building, but they're in separate rooms, lang, yeah? and not really on the main floor. They had, yeah, they had the to floor. go find him. No, <laughs> no, because I think they get forty players to put on the floor to go up on stage. He, he did Who not, they think he might not, go? In yeah, the, he did not go up on stage make, because he wasn't there. So to the media, he was. He didn't even make the cut to the NBA. I mean, to the NBA production yeah. crew. For yeah, the event, no, yeah. but he made the cut yeah. with the Spurs, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, let me. I don't want to rant forever. So yeah, yeah. Me, I, I mean, it is what it I is. It is what it is, it. man. It's the one. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna. Get to I've been it. ranting the whole day, dude. Anyway, we're, we're, it, it we're is, gonna get to the. It is what it is. <laughs> You know, I I just hope na lang, you know, wala na eh. it's done it's a done deal. Yeah. I just hope na lang that one day I look back at this day and laugh at myself for doubting pop. Yeah. And the genius uh, of this pick. I hope I hope that happens maybe with all my ranting moving forward because I'm not done ranting. I'm going to run rant offline after this. But then but then maybe I voodoo him enough to to, yeah. to voodoo him to superstar who knows. Well, let's see. I mean I mean I don't wish the kid bad. I mean, I'm, if he becomes a great player, then good, and he's deserving of his 12th spot. But yun nga lag. If this becomes a yeah, a bagay, it's, it's parang you got you got even if you, yeah, I, I get your point. Na even if you got him, even if he becomes a superstar, you just got him at face at at SRP. At, yeah, at yeah. Value, another verse, at, at value, at value so, lang, yeah. So and then no, and then you have to see lang how bad all the other. Picks were after, so now we're gonna go to let's yeah, say Duarte, like, Mo- right, Duarte, right. Moody, Kispert, Sengun. How bad were they to the to the Spurs to have reached all the way down right, there right, and put right. this guy all? Because it also affects the salary, their salary bracket, huh? Yes. Um, his salary bracket now is lottery pick ah, salary really? bracket. Right, oh right, yeah, right. it's standardized now. Jay, eh? now first pick has this salary for three years, right, right. so they can't before. Well, so, like, with, I don't know if I if I if I have this right. So because because uh, Primo was picked well well below, uh, everyone that followed him, baba ba yung the, 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 there's there, there's bracket. So there's so bracket. first pick. Ito yung kung baga may base salary yung first pick. Yeah. There's a base salary right, right. for for ano. So in other words, those that were supposed to take his spot would have a because he jumped yeah. so high. Lagay mo na if right. it's the 29 pick. So yeah. that he, he bumped oh. out at least 16 guys. Something like yeah. that. Diba? Yeah. Towards his yeah. So those 16 guys will be probably be getting lesser starting yeah. salaries because he jumped so... <laughs> he overtook all of yeah. them. Yeah. Well, okay. at least, at least wow. the lottery. Because I think the first top... The top five 
all have different salaries. I mean, someone there correct me if I'm wrong, but definitely first pick, second pick, third pick. Right, right. Iba, iba, uh, iba yan. Uh, Maybe up to five, and then siguro five hanggang 14 pareho. Kasi yan lahat lottery. Uh, and then after right. lottery, which is 15 and what's that? 15 to 30, or baka that's 15 to 30, ibang bracket na yon yung starting mo. Uh, baka pa nga hinati yun from 15 to 20, and then 20 to 30. Yeah, baka may ibang bracket. Like that, uh. And then second round, lower pa yung, bra yung starting right. bracket mo. Kasi second round pick ka. That's why someone like Markel Fox, if, because first pick siya, even though he's been injured, his salary is 13 million. Mm -hmm. Because as a first pick, you start off ka agad at 11, 12 million salary. Right. Right. Ganon. James Wiseman right, is 10 right. million ka agad. Right. But if you get James Wiseman at 28, he'll be making a million, 2 million. Mm -hmm. Ganon yun. Mm -hmm. Ganon yung magiging... And it's standardized now because in the olden days, like with the, with the Warriors, Chris Weber, um, remember in the olden days, rookies could hold out for their contract? Those days right. are pretty much gone now because it's understood that the... Yeah. Now the contracts are standardized now for the first three years, right. yep. and then you, you right. become a restricted free agent. That's where the whole restricted free agent. Yeah. And that's um, the, the, yung how when the real value of the player comes in. Yeah, whether, yeah. yeah. So, um, so there. But there, that that's what I just find funny about it. So I'll quickly move on along here. So Chris Duarte goes thirteenth. Moody goes to the Dubs at fourteen, which that's what cost. The Dubs would have gotten him at seven. They were he was in consideration at seven, but because you have these Joshua Primos and Zaire Williams coming from the bottom, they all slide down. Corey Kispert from Gonzaga, who's supposed to be like a Clay Thompson type shooter. He could have been I mean, if the Spurs were looking for shooters, he could have been a yeah. an option for them. Number fifteen to Washington. And then you, that Turkish center goes to OKC at sixteen. Mm -hmm. Um, Trey Murphy, who I'm not so familiar, goes to Memphis. Trey Mann, who I think is from Duke. Duke, but I think he's from Duke. Oklahoma, of course, a damning pick. So they're just, they're just racking up all these players. I know Florida. He's from Florida. And I'll, I'll close it out at there. 19, Kai Jones. And 20, Jalen Johnson. And then the rest are major. The Spanish player, Garu uh, Garuba, goes to Toronto. But Jalen Johnson was... A high prospect at Duke, but he's had a bad history of. Um, I, I, yeah, no, I, I heard this also. Some, I heard this also in the podcast. I think it's a Brian Windhorst Yatana. Even in the AAU at the AAU level, palang he's had a history of to be with a the team, then have to leave suddenly, not right. continue the season. Right. And then even in right. Duke now, even now, all the way up to college in Duke, he left Duke mid season. Wow. And that's why his stock dropped all the way down to 20 because he's 6'9 mobile. We're talking about Gazelle. I mean, he was one of the big wings that they were talking about last year. Now, wow, the draft is so good. Mm -hmm. And right, he, he right. drops all the way down to, to Atlanta. Pa. Now, that's what I find funny is that Atlanta finds value at the yep. 20th spot. Mm -hmm. That if they, if they can rehab this guy, that's another yeah. long player that they have who can be yeah, like... I yeah. mean, he, he can be like John Collins. Malak Collins, dude. Yep, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, exacto. Baka that's a, pwede that's replacement a formidable yan, team. Eh. Pwede replacement kay John Collins yan if they well, let him yeah, walk. Yeah, that's why. If, if they let him walk. And then the names rounding out the the top, I mean, the first round. Are, I, we can get deep dive into it, but most, I mean, to, we're just going by stats na lang and stuff that we really, I, I can't even really personally comment on the second round a lot of them, except for that Jared Butler of um, that national champion dropped all the way down to the second round. That's first rounder. Siya. I don't know why he, because he's like a... Remember yung backcourt mate ni Davion Mitchell, so Butler... Um, what, what school was that? The one who won the national... Is, it, is this Jared Butler of... Baylor, there, Baylor. of the ba uh, Baylor. Baylor, yeah, yeah. They were the one-two punch the backcourt that gave Suggs a hard time. <laughs> Yeah, but but he drops right. all the way. So there, I that's it was a wild and wacky draft day. But of course, you have any last thoughts? Because the wild and wacky draft day was really it's there was a trade. But let's you have any final thoughts on the draft, Mike? But before we move on to who the heck is Joshua Primo? 
Okay, fine, fine, fine. Jay. Jay, you still have yeah. to talk to the draft? No. No. I think we I think we yeah. did a pretty good yeah. rundown. Mine lang dalaga is that I can't get invested in my players right now because I don't I have no idea. That's 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 all I'm saying. And but the wildest the biggest storyline panga for today was not even this draft, believe it or not. It, I mean, <laughs> it's the fact that there was a trade. Run it, um, the trade was maybe you can run it down for us, Jay, or do I have to look for the exact trade? Do you know the exact details of the trade? Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So okay. The Lakers Russell Westbrook has been traded from Washington to the Lakers. And the exact trade would be from what from what I'm gonna go check so I don't I don't miss out on any Okay, let's look. Okay, so Washington has agreed to trade Russell Westbrook, 2024 second round pick, 2028 second round pick to the Lakers for Kuzma, KCP, Montres Harrell, and this year's number 22 pick. Yeah. That number two, 22 pick became Isaiah Jackson. So that's that's that, that's a big blockbuster trade right there. I mean, you have the former, you have a former MVP now with the Lakers, and that's where I'll start off with you, Jay. What are your thoughts on that blockbuster trade? <laughs> are you serious? I don't know. I don't know who's having a worse day, man. Who's having a worse day, him or me? <laughs> Uh, I got lost there. You know, I mag walk out. You know, mag walk out. <laughs> Luz, I was telling Julio, I don't know who's having a worse day, you or me. See, I think we need to drink later. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No, but I mean, if, if Mike had a bad day, I think I had a pretty bad day too, man. <laughs> oh. Right here, look. Fine, we're getting we're getting an MV a former MVP, uh, the guy who beat out the Big O in trip dubs. You know the resume goes on and on, namane. You know, and we've all, we we all saw West saw Westbrook at OKC. You know, we saw him at Houston. We saw him at the Wiz. <laughs> now we're gonna see him with the Lakers. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. With with the roster the Lakers already have existing, getting rid of Kuz, getting rid of Harold, that that means you've lost your bigs essentially. All you have really left are the slow pokes. You've got Gasol, you've got Drummond. <laughs> Not really, right? So you yeah, lose yeah, yeah. KCP, you lose Kuz. Both both hit trays, both hit you know outside shots for the Lakers. Without them, you lose shooters again. And then the guy you get, I mean, yes, he comes with the trip dubs, but he also comes with a ton of turnovers and really bad field goals, both both in the free throw lane and the three-point area, sometimes even the twos, man. Mike had him in fantasy. He knows exactly what I'm talking about. So, dude, I, man, we're going we're gonna to need to fill that roster out, and it's going to be hard because... Westbrook is going to be making 44M this year and 42 next year, man. Which closes out his five-year contract, the last one he, he had with OKC. Yeah. But, dude, I mean, come on. I, I can't wait two years for whatever happens. Is he? <laughs> with that kind of money thrown around already. Who else can we, who else can we get? We have the ML still. The um, mid-level exception, uh, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah. Uh, what else? We have... We have a uh, Minvet. All teams come and have that. Yeah. Um, there's really not much to to play around with with regards. I mean, well, no, uh, I mean, no, Jay. Uh, parang, I think this, this is contract. this is a huge move already for the Lakers. Because if you're saying that uh, if yes. if Westbrook has uh, two more years left in his contract, they're essentially oh, yes, putting years. putting putting all their chips on uh, all their chips on, on this Westbrook team now. on the on this yeah. big three until lebron yeah, retires a, a big right right but this is a big three with what with uh, what else mm. there's you know 
Um, you saw how the Lakers slowed down a bit with Gasol and Drummond there at the center. Um, they lost a step or two when they lost the more athletic bigs that were able to run a bit, you know, and do yeah. fast breaks with 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 Dwight and and McGee, you know. So I I I don't really know how the Lakers are going to be able to to fill out this roster, knowing that they need athletic bigs, knowing that they'll need more shooters. Alongside this, this three, who else do you have? Who else do they have? You know, do they have on contract? Caruso and THT. That's it, I think. Right? Mm -hmm. And well, friggin' Rick, Dudley. Yeah, Respect well, the free agent. Sh Schroeder, Schroeder is still there, though. Right? It's, it's, yeah. He hasn't up. up Schroeder, well, yeah, that's another job, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll mention Schroeder. Schroeder. Um, can opt out, so now Lakers can offer him, but what they they, they, can, they really can't offer him what he was asking for. Definitely not. He was asking for quite a lot last year. Unless he pays yeah. the tax, long. unless the Lakers just unless they pay the tax. Sure, sure. So fine. You have you have LBJ, you have AD, you have Westbrook, you have Schroeder, and maybe THT starting or Dramon palang. Yeah, uh, but wala ka nang pamalit. Oh, yeah, no? yeah. you're, you're, you'll end up with a bench of Gasol, Caruso, you know, THD, that, that's West. Dudley. Uh, McLemore, I, I don't know, yeah. I don't know how, parang one year contract lang din yata yan, yeah. along Even with si West Matthews. Matthews so. yata. Right. right, right. So, I, you know, it's, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy we got, I'm happy, I'm actually happy naman we got a caliber player like, like Westbrook joining the team, but at what price? Parang there's no there's no one else you can add to the team anymore. So that to me isn't enough. That to me isn't enough. I'm I'm still at a loss. I, I'm still major so speechless. I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. Yeah, man. It's but it's <laughs> it's it's wild, Mike. I have, well, I have something to say about it. you. You guys, I'm sure you. Yeah, yeah, have, yeah, yeah. I have something to say go about ahead. it. What about you, Mike? No, no. Go ahead, Sigur. Okay. Um, ako, I'm just thinking that not to knock it on LBJ, but it's kind of like this is how you expect an LB. This is what he did to the Cavs, also. I mean, there's like LBJ when LeBron goes to a team, it almost guarantees you that you will you are a contender for a championship. I mean, that's 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 the that's what LeBron yeah. will bring to the table. Yeah, and they have been among the Lakers. Yes, and they have been. They won one. They won one, and and but yeah. they, they but didn't it, really get to defend much. He also has a year, pen, no? He also has a penchant for. I guess I don't know if it's getting involved with the the front office, even though that really can't be proven. But I mean, but there is a I'm penchant sure he does. there. I'm, I'm pretty yeah. sure he does. He has to say so much in the team that goes around, like the young players going out and who he wants come yeah. in that. After two to three years, it's like he's. If it's like, by the time LeBron leaves a team, they're so gutted. Even though that they yeah, right. they're contending, and they're right there in the mix. And then once he decides to leave, that's the big effect of him leaving because it was all gutted. Also, <laughs> I mean, right. for for sure the team will go automatically down because picks yeah. were given up. It it, yeah. it becomes LeBron then yeah. tank. That's how. Right, right, right. right. So with, with the Lakers, with this Laker team, though, at least you still have AD, diba? At yeah. the, at, kung may may iwan. With the others, wala talaga. But yeah, I, yeah. I, I fully get what you're saying yeah. and agree. Na because of because of how todo buhat bangko is is capable of doing yeah. for for the team he joins, they get gutted, yeah. yeah. But you it know, only really started from with the Cavs. Leaves, like, he couldn't do it so much with Miami because he still he was not as wala pa siyang masyadong influence, influence. Yes. and he, his, his right. and his influence no, it, yeah. against Riley. You talk, right, right, you're talking right. about I was going to say Pat Riley. Eh. Yeah, diba? So it's not somebody you can just make like bra yeah. so bra. So dude, no Pero, way. Yeah. But once he went to the Cavs, we all saw how he he, he practically ran out his own coach. He practically he didn't want the number one pick. He got Kevin Love because Kevin Love was the thing then, right? Uh, right. And then right. he negotiated Tristan Thompson's contract, 
to make the Cavs pay him more. <laughs> so right. it and then well, the he time, did get the pieces he wanted. Yes, at least and they won. Yeah, at but least yeah, to his mind, enough pieces that would yeah that would give yeah. him an opportunity to win. Me looking going back to to the Lakers, I I just don't see AD him and Russ being that much whoo, solid champion to for sure kind of thing. Yeah. I don't. I still I still I still see a need for at least agile mobile bigs that can defend well, run with them because they're going to be running. Yeah. That's something that Russ brings also to the table, right? Yeah, I yeah. don't know if LBJ at 36 turning 37 in December will be able to run with him, but even if Brody's already 34, that the guy can still run, man. He can still run yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah. So they they need bigs that can that can you know, go along with yeah. that flow of kind of a pace with the game and have shooters around them also. Because we all know Russ can't shoot for crap. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how his game is. Yeah. But that, that, you know, he won't he won't be he won't be having his volume shots at this time, no? With this yeah. team, I don't see it happening that way. Maybe it goes down to around twelve to fourteen shots a game. I'm hoping at least. You know that AD gets more touches and BJ gets more touches because they're they're capable of scoring way better than Russ does. Ako, I ako, ako for me, ah, I, I, this wasn't. I knew the Lakers were gonna make a big move in the off season just because of their early exit last <laughs> year, and of course right. the you know you have LBJ with with a couple more years in the league, and they they'd want to put him in a position to 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 be able to course, compete yeah. and try to win another one. Right. But I I wasn't really surprised that they got a superstar just because it's LBJ man it, he's done this before diba? that he's he's pulled another superstar again this this goes back to our conversation in the finals na how Milwaukee was put together the proper way in yeah. in and imagine they were short of the finals they add a Drew Holiday versus adding a Russell an MVP type caliber player in Russell Westbrook. Can I pero, can I share pero, my my, nick, my nickname for the, for Westbrook before oh, that? Okay. Well, I, I I call him Tasbrook. Tasbrook. Yeah. So parang Tasmanian devil. Anyway. So for me, parang ako I can't siguro it, it depends because Durant for me Durant and LBJ are kind of the same with with the same thinking na you know what let's let's body ball and just you know, take a beeline to the championship. Measure the same, I know, with the same yeah. same way they got right. that Brooklyn to, to, to create that big three, diba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pero, I don't know if anyone can believe na in that Milwaukee Bucks team that lost last year, diba? It, to add a Drew Holiday, just that one critical piece and lagay mo na si Tucker okay fine you add yeah, yeah, yeah. Tucker which we don't really count it was Drew that, that mattered talaga that yeah. in their championship yeah. adding yeah. that one Drew Holiday made them champions Can mm-hmm. it's very hard to believe that an AD LBJ tandem needs a Russell Westbrook to win yes. versus a Giannis yes. Middleton tandem who just needs a Drew Holiday so parang, that's where the disconnect is no, for but, me with, with these players. Because, na, yeah, but, and but, with LPG. But that's because the Bucks But that's because the Bucks had a roster to speak of. There's still that Connaughton. Yeah, I, yeah but even kasi, so help out even if he wasn't, you know. Which which in which, the finals, which, but, which which kinda reinforces my point. Yeah. Cause it, yeah, yeah. This this team cre- was created by giving up so much for A D. Yes. To begin uh-huh. with. So when LBJ came, uh-huh. they had a really solid young core in in yes. the, they, they, they had Randall. The they had, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Si Randall nun. They had uh, no, no. Randall so, was there, Papa? Um at least the f- De, wala na. Ah, no, wala wala na, wala. When wala LBJ na. came, wala na. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had okay. Kuzma, you had Brandon Ingram. Kuz and Ingram uh, and, yeah. and Ball, yeah, yeah, man. When when he came Josh in Hart. when he came in. Uh, Josh, into right. that, into that, into that young core. Parang thing, if you think LBJ and how great he is, how great he's been throughout his career, it's very difficult to think na hindi niya kaya dalhin that young core to the finals. Maybe it was a timetable uh, 
Big time table. Eh. Paul, the Plus the fact yeah. that na hilaw pa yeah. and he has, you know, right. he has a couple of right. years left. But yeah. but then when you look, again going back to to the to the box, na adding a, a a Drew to a Yanis Middleton tandem versus adding a Westbrook to, to an AD LeBron tandem, it, 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 you know, it's so disconnected with with how those two teams, you know, put their roster together in 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 pursuit of the championship, man. Right, right. I, I, I go to that ending word you use, roster. If the Bucks had a roster to go around the man, this, you know, Drew was added, yes, but they still had a roster. Brooke, uh, Lopez was there, you know, they had they had pieces other than the three you mentioned, Drew, Yanis, and, and Middleton. There's none of that to talk about <laughs> when you're talking about the Lakers. There's none. There's no roster. You only have the big three, Draman, who will not help because as much as maybe he can help another team, he's not the right fit for the Lakers. We already saw that. Been there, done that. That's that's not going to help us win any championships. And then you have Gasol, who's already, you know, todo, all right, you know, on the path to retiring. And who else? Yeah, the McLemores and... Yeah. Matthews, listen. I'm, it's, that's I'm not enough trying, to win. I'm just trying to think if 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 this is something Palenka actually wanted. I mean, is, is this also Palenka's direction? I mean, in in Rob Palenka's head is that I gotta get Russell Westbrook. And I'm gonna add also is that this is why it scares. Actually, Westbrook getting traded to the Lakers. I don't know if that's gonna be an effect of Bill wanting to stay more in Washington or Washington willing to give up Bill already, finally. I and don't know. And just, and just blow up the team, diba? And rebuild yeah, the diba? Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, I think it's the latter. Actually, the Lakers were in were in talks with Sacramento. It was supposed to be Buddy Hill coming yeah. to the you know Lakers at a, at a cheaper price, meaning yeah. they were only supposed to get Kuz and Harold. KCP would have stayed in the Lakers. Yeah. Which, I mean, the guy is a shooter, kahit pa no? The guy can play D. And, you know, he's part of that roster that, that already won. And he, he proved himself naman during the, that finals run. He would have stayed. And then you'd get a heel who's actually a shooter. <laughs> Something the Lakers need, right? So, compare that now. Tapos biglang, boom! Ito si Wizards, you know biglang na... You know oh, what, no, Jay? No? Funny you mentioned Hilda. If you look at all the stories leading to this trade, all the r- rumors, quote unquote rumors, yeah. everything that's getting leaked yeah. out in the media, you know how media is. Diba? With, mm-hmm. with the trade rumors, sometimes it gets it gets wild, sometimes it's half true, sometimes you know right. it's totally made up. Right. All the BS. All the BS in sports media now. If you look at a lot, some of the clues, the hints. Uh, AD and LeBron following the wife of West, Westbrook on IG. Yeah. Ang, ang galing. Yeah. And, and how the teams <laughs> how the teams play it also. With with leaking information they want leaked in me- media to create smoke screens for moves they're about to make yeah. or they're planning to make. Right. The Westbrook right, right. It, this tells me the Westbrook deal was there all along. Was all of these mga, yeah. all of these mga body heel rumors. Who else were rumored to the Lakers? Chris no, Paul. Yan, si. Hindi naman. It wasn't a rumor per se. Si Wodge pa yung nag nagreport yung talks yun with na, Sacramento. Again, again, so, yeah. again. Wodge being. Yun nga, Wodge being supposed to be one of the mga yes most credible yeah. people within the ball. Play. Yeah. But right. again, how the teams play it, and you know the espionage and counter espionage that uh, these, these teams uh, play, they can easily feed right. watch false information yeah. Yeah. just to create these yeah. smoke screens for them. Yeah. So it's 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 it's, right. it's fascinating actually for me looking at these mga rumors in the off season, and looking at what happens in the end before the season starts yep. and me looking back at all I, I, I google all the rumors that came out yeah. months leading to it to see what the teams are doing and you can really see how how they mislead na meron yep. na silang mga ano eh meron na silang mga deception and all that just to mislead other teams to what their their plans are yeah. diba mas, I th- ano pa, eh, mas believable pa the little the little snippets or you know what they call 
what they call uh tao dito yung yung easter eggs <laughs> in social media the little yeah. drops of hints here and there ako nga, parang mas well, dependable pa eh. ako nga ako nga <laughs> when the, these rumors come come out i i thought i immediately look at the opposite scenario of it and, yeah. okay <laughs> what, 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 yeah. what are they trying to the screen the ba diba i said once in the chat na if something is hot malamang it won't happen yes. but i'm worried about when, when something dies down westbrook was hot um, Two weeks ago, and it was a month ago, and it was it was it died down, and it was it just became mm-hmm. hot because it wasn't a rumor or you know rumors of talks happening. Yeah, it was yeah. AD yeah. and LBJ following the wife of Breastbrook on IG. The wife, yeah, that was IG, it, right. and it was yeah, uh, kumbaga okay. yun, that was beyond the control of the Lakers. Na, na, yeah, and yeah, and yeah, yeah. and nakita ng media yun or or somebody yeah. you know took notice then, and ano. What did they try to leak out, Chris Paul? Chris Paul. Nah, and then it, all of these rumors then, came out. And oh, then, yeah, we were, yeah, yeah, yeah. We it was so funny how, how diba, every day there was a, oh, Lakers na naman. Parang, yeah, the, the, yeah. The Rosen came up in the conversation, yep. which now, is still, now, uh, diba? Yeah. And th- those are the, sm- dude, even for the dubs, huh? right before the draft, puta, lumabas na naman yung pangalan ni Franz Wagner all of a sudden. Two, two draft. People who make mocks last yeah. minute now. Franz Wagner goes to the dubs. Three. <laughs> You're like, ah, nah, ah, alam ko na to. And then uh, uh, when they pick Kuminga, I'm like, you know, it's smoke screen talaga. Uh, they really just. They the, really, okay, so, you mentioned last minute smoke screens. What yeah. was the last minute smoke screen of LA? Darrow and Guy Lowry. Yeah, and what? Buddy Hield also. <laughs> <Buddy Hield. laughs> Uh, Lowry is still a possibility. The free agency naman well, yeah. Yeah, 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 well, yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. I'm also hoping for maybe Dinwiddie, dude. Well, the, the question si there... Mister, si Mr. Bitcoin yan, eh, uh, the, the, the question then there is, actually, with the Rosen and, and, yeah, and sure. Lowry, is is whether they're or not they're prepared to receive Take bet, bet minimum. minimum at the yeah. this point. Yeah. Yeah, and ako, Who honest, knows? Honestly, uh, 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 honestly chance, ako the Rosen... A really good chance at a ring, they could. And ako, honestly, I don't think the Rosen is there yet. Because... There yeah, Lowry of, can there, be. Oh, si Lowry puede, but si the Rosen, he's st- there. Are still a, a few teams that are, are really after him. Ano na lang yan kung ano na lang yan kung sakale. Like like Westbrook kasi is also from uh, Los Angeles yeah, boy din yeah. yan. Yeah, yep. So kami home side, so. di ba? Yeah, yeah. Same with Dero, no? LA yeah. boy from Compton yan. Eh. So, so baka lang, baka lang. No, but that makes I'm more just, scared. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to save today. Yeah, in my head. Baka, oy, din we di, oy, see? No, but that's why me well, also, Frank, I can't get well, this. I, I know how hard it's going <laughs> well, to get this. The video. last word Frank, on the dubs right now nah. kasi is that wala na daw, the bill is, the bill trade is off the table. That's That scares me even more. Like, oh, crap. Now, kasi, ang ganda na ng pack. might happen, yeah. No, because now pa nga, the package of the dubs looks better. Now, ang ganda na. Oh, now, now it's Kuminga and Kuminga. I'm not so sure they let all of those go, though. Maybe well, for sure know, Wiggins. Yan yung salary, salary, the price, ano, the price eh, for bill, at least the price for bill. The Dubs re- supposedly already rejected. Uh, that oh. was the rumor, huh? They supposedly rejected yeah. Wiggins, Weiss- Weissman, Weissman, seven fourteen, and Pool. They didn't want to get gutted all their players, so they were Gutted-ed offering the lang, They were offering a future first instead of Pool. That's where supposedly the the negotiations broke down. Pool, right. pool versus future first. But now it can be future first because alam mo na it's Kuminga and Moody. That's right, already. Moody. Diba na yung right, do, right. Diba? So right. yeah, yeah. That's why I'm not mm. investing myself. That that's probably five... who they'll ask for also. I mean, diba? Weissman, yeah. Wiggins, and those two that you mentioned, Moody yeah. and yeah. Kuminga. Those end up. Yeah, that's a pretty hefty price also. Yeah. But then again, that's that's Bradley yeah, Bill. But for me, star, yeah. Yeah, like I said before, that's the only type of deal I would make. All in for a really, really big star. I don't like this. Right. Would, I'm not personally into losing Weissman, for example. Like Weissman and Kuminga. No, it has to be Wiggins. Wiggins and Weissman and has something. It has to be Wiggins because of the salary. Yeah, the salary. Let's say there was another yeah. proposal. Yeah. Wiggins, Weissman, for example, and something. For Miles right. Turner, right? I'm, like me, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not opposed also to getting, yeah. to getting another star per se. Parang they got lang the wrong one for me. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was yeah, hoping, yeah. di ba, before all of this, I was hoping, uy, baka si Dame. <laughs> I was hoping, uy, baka si Dero <laughs> si Lowry. Pwede, reunite sila. Oh, kaboom, di ba? With yeah. ADLBJ, panalo. Pwede. Anyway. Pero, man, you get Mr. Trip Dub. Fine. Trip Dub. Okay, great. It's something, it's something LBJ already does. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's yeah. It's not like we're adding something that we don't have. Di ba? We already have that eh. Ang wala kami shooting, tapos magdadagdag ka pa ng brick, anak ng tipaklong. Magtatayo na lang kami ng pader para sa Mexico. Hindi. Di na nga. I think it's it's the bricks for the Yanis wall in the finals next year. Let's see. Okay. It, it depends on you. <laughs> the Yanis wall built diba? by Westbrook. Built by the bricks of Westbrook. You wanna, you guys wanna go See, to the no, chat, ah, to the know. comments here for a while. Meron ba? Do we, do, do we have? Comments? Yeah, yeah, we have, we have, a, we have a couple. So it's Nesty yeah. Gulapa, mga idol. Oh, oi, <laughs> mga idol. Nesty's no. my batchmate. I wanna shout out, uh, shout out, Lodi Nesty, Doctor Nesty, <laughs> Doctor Nestyan. He's a really, Wait, really oh. in the. He is in the front line. Um, as an anesthesiologist, every day sacrificing awesome. during this pandemic. Awesome. So Thank we you salute for you. Your... Salute. Service, man. And then we have uh, Enrique Mercado here. Have a good guys. Uh, have a good. Have a good guys. Have a good day, guys. I am. I am <laughs> well, I'm a well, good guys. <laughs> uh, well said, Jay. And then we have Ma. Uh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> and then we have uh, Marty here. Our, our, oh, Marty. Marty, Who's are you kasama natin sa the bench fantasy league? Yeah. To, no? Jay, yep. what is your parting message for Kus? <laughs> Laker boy din kasi to si Marty. Yeah, yeah, we, uh, Laker boy din yan. We waited, we waited and we waited. And it never came, dude. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> hey, you know what though? If you, can we roll back the fact that you know Kuz came from Dilo? It's funny, you know, how this whole thing got together and then now you're letting go of Kuz where Kuz came from the Moscow well, it was the D-Lo, Mozkov, right. and then D-Lo went right. to Brooklyn. Well, and, then, right. and, then you, and then we wanted to keep him because sobra yeah. na yung kinuha yeah. ng Pels. Actually, yeah. 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 naman kayo, maski isa, maski si Kuz, <laughs> pwede na yan. It was funny nga, diba? Kung mas tapos wala <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was Kina, telling you. I was telling you. Siya. Nakaisa yeah. siya. It's funny. Nakaisa siya. Yeah, yeah. I was telling you guys, kasi... Leading into the draft, I was just watching my videos, trying to do my homework, and I came across this video of an interview with Shaq. I think it was Dan Patrick in the Dan Patrick show, and yeah. then he was interviewing Shaq. Pala, it was an old video from right before that off season of the trade where the AD to the Lakers trade happened. So the, he asked Shaq na, what he thinks of the trade, if it's going to be good for the. Right. You know what will be good for both teams, not just the Lakers, but with but for New Orleans, and yeah. they they all agreed, and most of the people during that time agreed na ah, dapat hindi po in New Orleans kung hindi kasama si Kuzma, hindi po ay si Brandon Ingram <laughs> lang, <laughs> hindi po ay si Brandon Ingram lang, de ba? Kailangan kasama si Kuzma. So it it's funny how things you know ter- turned out after a few years and now the Lakers want Lonzo Ball back players. and they want and they want to throw away Kuzma. Yes. <laughs> I think I think Kuzma because was was very he was a hot shooter when he came out in that summer league and the major major go ping yeah. ng Conte for LA. You know what I mean? He he had a certain look and swag. Pang Hollywood, pang Hollywood. Pang Hollywood and so he became like the a diet pa ng buhok eh. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was, Oh, go, go. See, 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 see Marty also as a follow-up here. Putres, uh-huh. I made him my profile pick pa during his second season. <laughs> Talking <laughs> about Kuz. <laughs> exactly. Marks, right? Marks. And then Marks, Nesty. Marks, palitan mo na yung profile pick mo. Gawin mo lang si Russ. <laughs> and then Nesty here has another follow-up yeah. comment here. Uh, yeah. Heard about the dubs in Lakers chat waiting for the Spurs. Uh, oh, Nesty, just rewatch the video. I don't know. It was siguro in the twenty. Yeah, rewind yeah. that. Yeah. I had a long monologue Inuna about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nesty, na namin yan. Nesty, about the Spurs. Because the, the 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 discussion kanina was if it was the first we discussed it when we discussed the draft. Is that how yeah. can the Spurs pick someone that high? 
um, where he's a complete unknown. When they could have found a yeah. way, siguro, to get value for that lottery pick and pick him up nga later and probably get two picks pa out of it. Right. That's that's what ended right. up becoming the discussion. No problem that Primo Primo could be great, but when you're picking at a lottery slot, malamang they're supposed to be good anyway. Yeah. What would have been nice is they're supposed. Yeah. Like, diba? It's 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 ano lang, yeah. It's maximizing value for the asset you have. So you don't want to yeah. sell low. You want to sell high. Yeah, what the yeah. what the Spurs did was buy high. So <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like if you get Ma- Tony Parker and Manu are great because they were picked at their position. Yeah. If you told me Manu yeah. was a third pick, it's a whole different story. Kung third pick si Manu, right. or tenth, tenth right. pick si Manu, or diba? That's that's what happened there. That's you know, already yeah. to be expected that they'd have a pretty yeah. good career. You, you know what yeah. this was? This was this is like the u- usual pressure when somebody's trying to sell you something. Na parang, boss, bilin mo na to. Sige, bilin mo na to. Ang mahal eh, ang mahal eh. Boss, last stack na to eh, ha? Last stack na yan? Sige, kuwili ko na. Ay, it, 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 it looked like a panic yeah. pick. I don't know. Wala if na- they really wanted it, and siguro, uh, baka all of these other teams kind of sniffed also this, 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 ano, and they messed the, the Spurs up and, and kunyari, showed, showed uh, interest in, in the guy para the Spurs pick him at a high... I don't, know what, I don't know what happened behind the scenes, but yeah. Wala nang ibang primo? Wala na? Yun lang? Yun lang, yun lang. Yun lang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sige, kunin ko na yan. Kunin ko na yan. Keep, kunin ko na yan and then keep the change. Keep the change. <laughs> Kasi again, like you said, they could have gotten the 19th and 20, 20, yeah. 20, 21st 21st. Picks. From the Knicks, yeah. For the 12. And get Primo and yeah. the, then the, and uh, who's and the center? Else. Another player. Yeah. The yeah. center, that athletic center. That, uh, Kai Jones. Oh, Kai Jones. They could have gotten, Kai, Kai, Jones. They, well, they could have gotten yeah. Kai Jones and Primo and I would have been ecstatic. That's, yeah. <laughs> and that's a position yeah. they needed yeah, also. Yeah. Another yeah. big sana. Yeah. Masaya ako dun. <laughs> Masaya ako with Kai Jones and, and, and Primo as opposed to 112 pick that happened to be Primo. You know what this reminds me of? It's like how the how how the Warriors got fooled with Smilagic. <laughs> they were gonna they ended up picking Smilagic at 30 because there was a rumor that Sacramento that will get him. <laughs> so yung so, ng dubs, he up they approached New Orleans. Uy, draft naman Smilagic for us. We'll give you a second rounder pa. We'll give you our second <laughs> rounder plus another one. Can you draft Smilagic and trade him to yeah. us? Oh, eh, hindi na goyo yung dubs, di ba? <laughs> so Smilagic cost. <laughs> Smile each cost an extra second rounder pa for riding the bench. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Bob, yeah. any any more comments we we gotta go through or, or are we good so far? No, I think we're good with the comments. We're good. Yeah. And what's so guys, next for again, us? thank you for commenting. I hope you guys you, you guys yes. get into yeah. the conversation more. We we love it when we you yeah. guys engage. Yeah, and, keep joining the huddle. Keep uh, joining the huddle. As much as you guys want. We and, accept and we'll make sure normal. Yes, we accept normal questions. We accept crazy questions. We yep. accept all questions <laughs> here at the, at the bench. Um, free agency starts on August 3, so there should be a lot happening there. But when's the next Gilas, uh, Gilas, when's the next Team USA game again? Uh, Sunday. Sunday. Uh, I know. I said okay. Saturday. Yeah, yeah. I, Saturday. I'm not sure. But I think, yeah, I think we'll be doing a Sunday stream. Yeah. Sunday afternoon. Right. Yeah, uh, Sunday yeah. afternoon. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah on that, that note also, good thing you mentioned Gilas. They're in the middle of a um, a tune-up tournament. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the middle of King Abdullah Cup. Some, it's yeah, a tune-up yeah. tournament for the Asia FIBA Asia Cup. But eh, Kai's not playing, no? No, Kai's, Kai's not, not playing. playing. Pero they're, the they're, they're in a good position to make it to the finals. Because if you look at the, the teams that are there, I think it's just Egypt who's major formidable yeah. and, and was able to beat that Gilas team mm-hmm. in, in the, say, I think in the first or second game. But eh. all the other teams, Kaya Kaya, supposedly. But So we could make that finals on Sunday and let's see what happens. Maybe you could, we talk about oh, yeah. it also. Yeah. On the yeah, yeah, sure. I don't know where we can. Oh, yeah. Let's figure out how, where to watch it. <laughs> so we'll see, one, we'll see our Cajados again on Sunday, yeah. right? Yep. So, Mike, you have any last words? Morale. Well, just remember, not all lemons that life throws at you can be turned to lemonade. Sometimes yes, you yeah. need a blender. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> well, sometimes, no, sometimes you just throw, the, throw a certain lemons away, dude. I don't know. Well, that's Sometimes my... it's better with calamansi. Yep. Jay, take us home, Jay. Hey, that was a huddle. <laughs>
Ba't ako ng British Oxford? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I don't know. I pa- wait, <laughs> lang, wait lang before you do that, dude. I have to say that. Wait lang. Wait lang. Who do I say? <laughs> wait lang. Mas- I remember. Hindi ko napansin. Huh? I just noticed it when I rewatched one of our episodes. It was so funny, dude. I just, when you were doing that French that French intro, I don't know if you're doing oh, Santa. Oh, oh. I don't know if you're doing the French Santa. Oh, people of France. <laughs> <laughs> We were from. Oh, I don't know what's si Santa in a you're going for Santa or a French Santa. Yeah, I don't know. Santa <laughs> <Santa. laughs> no, 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 no. That was not Santa. That was Anyway, bring us home, Jay. Bring us home. So man. that was the huddle today. <laughs> See you again next time. <laughs> we said it first right here on the bench the bench the bench I don't know. I don't know if I know because the...